Chapter 136, Huaxia Tiger and Dragon 1 Below the Longhu overall rankings, there were seven words that shone brightly. The Dragon of Huaxia Lai Zhaokin. These words made Zhu Tu instinctively want to curse. He was too arrogant, he was too presumptuous. There are tens of millions of young heroes in the Huaxia sector and he actually dared to call himself the Dragon of Huaxia. However, Zhu Tui soon realized that something was wrong. The second name on the Longhu overall rankings. The Tiger of Huaxia's Ao Heilong. Were all the seniors nowadays so arrogant? Brother Zhu, is this your first time here? Do you think that the Dragon and Tiger of Huaxia are so arrogant? Zhuang Ziking appeared behind Zhu Tui. The Dragon of Huaxia and the Tiger of Huaxia are special titles for people who Enter the Longhu overall rankings of the Huaxia Genetic Evolution College. If you occupy these two positions for more than three months, you can call yourself the Dragon of Huaxia and the Tiger of Huaxia. In the entire Huaxia sector, the various genetic evolution schools had their own rankings. However, only the Huaxia Genetic Evolution College had such an honor. That's also why only the truly strong can secure these two positions. Jun Ziking introduced. Zhu Tui could not help but feel an indescribable desire when he heard the introduction. He wanted it too. Brother Shu, how is it? Do you want to occupy one of the two spots and stay here? Brother Zhu, to be honest, I think that you can do it. One day in the future, you will definitely be ranked on the Longhu overall rankings and become Huaxia's dragon and tiger. Xun Ziking took the opportunity to flatter Zhu Tui. The flattery sounded nice, but Zhu Tui felt that it was fake. You, Jun Ziking, have yet to see me fight. How do you know that it's possible? It was too fake. However, Zhu Tui still liked to listen because it sounded good. 1. Brother Zhu, the weather is hot. I brought you a bottle of water. It had to be said that Jun Ziking was a very energetic young man. He did not forget to bring water for Zhu Tui when he rushed over. He was quite professional. Boss Jun, I wasn't pushing you away on the phone. I'm just a little busy today. You'll know in a while, don't worry, it'll definitely look for you. If I want to earn more contribution points from the meal you treated me to, Zhu Tu is said directly. Jun Ziking was overjoyed when he heard Zhu Tu's words. So he was overthinking things. However, the more this was the case, the more he could not relax with such a big client. He was just waiting to do big businesses, and a beautiful girlfriend. Brother Zhu, don't call me boss. I don't deserve to be called that. In the future, you can call me Little Jun or Qianzi. Jun Ziking took the initiative to get closer to Zhu Tui. Zhu Tui stared straight at Jun Ziking. Jun Ziking felt his hair stand on end. Brother Zhu, what's wrong? How old are you? You am almost 26 years old. If I call you little Jun, I will be at a disadvantage. I'm only 18, I haven't reached 19 yet. Old Jun, he'll call you old Jun from now on. No problem, no problem at all. Jun Ziking, who had served his big client wholeheartedly, heaved a sigh of relief. As long as he had a business, he would be willing to do anything. Zhu Tua scanned through the names on the Longhu overall rankings as they chatted. He did not know most of them. He only knew one of them. Lumarong, Lumarong, ranked 10th on the Longhu overall rankings. At the same time, Luo Murong was also ranked on the Year 3 Longhu list. Year 3 T Jeroo Murong. Zhu Tui watched, for the first time, he realized that his roommate was very powerful. Not only was he handsome and exquisite, but he was also rich, talented, and powerful. No wonder there were so many fangirls and fans. It would be abnormal if there were no fangirls. The first year Longhu list had not been activated yet because it was not time yet. Zhu Tu's final gaze landed on the second year Longhu list. The second year dragon, Dai Lijin, was currently not in school. The strongest was the second year tiger, Kui Shi. The personal information behind the list was very simple and crude. Second year teacher Kui Shi, Extreme Academy. It was that simple. It could be seen that among the top 10 of the year to Longhu list, 8 of them were from the Extreme Academy. There was another one from the Mystery Academy. However, this situation had changed on the rankings of the year 3 of Longhu list. 
Among the top 10 students on the Long Hu list, there were four from the Mystery Academy and six from the Extreme Academy. There were still more students from the Extreme branch. However, considering the nearly 10 times difference in the number of students in the Extreme branch and the Mystery branch, it could be seen that the Extreme branch was indeed strong when school just started. However, as the number of years of study increased, there would be more experts in the Mystery branch. Eh, someone has already challenged someone in the year to Long Hu list. Ziyan, ranked 92nd, challenged the 83rd. He had actually crossed 10 rankings. He was really confident. Brother Zhu, do you want to take a look? Jun Ziking, who specialized in making big clients happy, had transformed into a human-shaped service expert. Let's go and take a look. As there were more people gathered here, Zhu Tui and Jun Ziking could only watch the battle from the seats further away. Brother Zhu, use this to see more clearly. Jun Ziking handed over a normal 60 for x telescope. This preparation was too thorough. Thank you, Zhu Dui, who had silently accepted the offer, felt that he would not be able to get over it if he did not make a deal with Jun Ziking. Although it was a normal telescope, it had a wide field of vision. The entire arena could be seen clearly. Zhu Tui's gaze froze when he saw it clearly. Silver Spear. A silver spear flew up and down in Zi Yan's hand. The battle had just begun, but he had already forced the 83rd place on the Longhu list to retreat step by step.